Hi folks, this is Edith. I'm here with Max Lavoie, president of the House of Barbecue Experts. And we're here today to look at these fabulous accessories. Oh yeah. Fun. Fun. In the kitchen. Fun grilling. Fun with the kids. Yes. Or if your you grandmother. Play and cook at the same time. You got that. That's it. That's awesome. And most people will look at this and not know exactly what it's no, for. No, no, it's like the thermometer is pushed to the side. It's an easy one. Not that fun, but practical and so necessary, useful. folks. So useful. We don't cook to time, that. we cook to temperature. Totally. If you want yeah. a medium rare steak, you'll have to Always. check the temperature and pull it at. Exactly. At, uh, one, uh, sorry, 120, 125. Is if you best. want, if you want your steak well done, if you want to make sure that your chicken is well cooked and you don't get sick with salmonella, That's smart. you need to make sure it's 170 degrees. That's it. So always have this. But these accessories here are fun. Why? Because starting with they this make, one, they make your life funnier and easier. Easier. Yes. This is the veggie rack. In yes. the veggie rack, we should call it the everything rack everything because rack, you yeah. can make. Apple. It used to be a potato rack, and then we discovered that we can put veggies, and then it was too late for the fruit. And okay, uh, so but you can put anything. Didn't but discover. Eggs. This guy eggs is humble. Work. He's not discovering. He's just trying everything. He's a yeah. real creator. And I tried a rock everything. on it. Doesn't work. <laughs> but you can put apples on yeah. it and core it out. Put okay. some of the cake spice in mm, it. Delicious. Make great uh, apple crusted cheese. Uh, smoked. You can put cheese. Yeah. The fun thing about this accessory is that you can really realize some great grilled vegetables with very little fat or no fat at all. You just no, 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 poke yeah. them right on. You can Let put a little cook, spritz yeah. to make sure it's easier for the cleaning after, but it's, it's not just necessary. For the cleaning, actually. Yeah, exactly. And it cooks from the inside as well. From the, the heat inside transfers and from the outside at the same time. So That's you it. reduce the cooking time. Exactly. You get a but crispy also make outer sure, like, skin. Let's say a potato. When you put it on the grill, it's gonna cook by the, the heat's gonna come from the outside and slowly penetrate the potatoes until it's kind of ready. The thing is, the inside is still gonna be kind of not that cold, but not like not that warm either, and kind of strong like a harder. harder so, but the ex, the outdoor, the, the skin, you're gonna kind of waste it because it, the time you it cook. It's gonna be dry and not mm -hmm. that good. When you use that, you make sure that the temperature comes inside, so the, the interior becomes super soft, all like that's right, flavorful, and the outside just becomes crispy. So that's awesome. So you reduce the cooking time, and you also cook not on, only from the outside in, but from the inside exactly. out. Now the stuffer. Mm, Someone looking at this could say, "What am I doing with this? Am I gonna mold <laughs> some tartar? Am I going to?" Yeah, useful for that. You can do that. But the real use of this accessory is to stuff your burgers, your own right? Burger, yeah. And if you can just do a quick 10 Create second demo magic. of what you do with Pretty this. Pretty easy, you got three parts. You actually have another one if you want to do a like small burger. I don't recommend this. Go for the bigger, order is better. Bigger is better, I mean. So you do like this, you put the, the, the bottom, you're gonna put your meat in it, and then you're gonna take the cover. And, and mold the hole. And mold the hole, exactly. So you press and you press. You wanna make sure that you have enough space to fill it. Then you're gonna remove it, usually by like uh, twisting a little bit. It's gonna be easy to remove. And then you fill it with whatever you want. You so wanna make sure that- What do you put, put in it? Give I've, us some ideas. I've done everything. I've done like uh, poutine, so uh, french fries, gravy, and uh, cheese. Cheese curd, I've done uh, like lobster with avocado. Avocado. When you do lobster or shrimps or something like that, make sure they're cooked, of course. Uh, you the cheese. You pre-cook the filling, unless you it's cheese that you cheese. just yeah, want to yeah. soften You want to make melt. sure they melt. Uh, you can add bacon, you can add like broccoli, you can add anything actually. Fried uh, mushrooms yeah, with great. caramelized onion, mm. bacon and cheese. I, I, Four ingredients, my I have favorite. one guy one day, he, uh, he put it like cheese and car uh, caramel. So like sugar, like sugar, oh, nice. caramel, yeah, caramel sauce. Like, you, what do you think? I'm like, I mean, I mean like salt and sugar at the same time, it's always good, you know? So go for it. And then what you do, take this up you're on the other side, this one to make the hole, this one to fill it. So you press here. And you, you make cap it. Kind of another patty, exactly. And you're gonna cap it. And then you press, you flip it. This, the bottom is gonna stay up there. You just int it a little bit for the magic. Bing! And then you <laughs> remove the top. And you'll end up with a giant burger exactly. with all the filling inside. Yeah. So it's fun to do with the kids because exactly. they get to prep the burgers for all Their the guests. Own and you only discover it once you take the first oh. bite. Amazing. Exactly. And then for the cooking, I highly, uh, highly recommend indirect heat slowly and then after it you grill. Some people will rather grill at the first, but since they're usually kind of fragile, 
I want to make sure that they don't open and all my so indirect all my heat. Stuff are, all my stuff uh, just uh, the stuffing doesn't just, run off. Yeah. But the um, the indirect heat to make sure that the the meat everything stick together and really holds its shape, exactly. and then you've got magic. Yeah. This is also mm. a lot of fun. Lot this of is fun. called the Twisto Max. Exactly. When when you talk barbecue, like everybody knows steaks and a lot of things. Burger, but and hot dogs always stay there. They're really important. Pool party, kids party. Everything. Party. Grandpa loves hot dogs. Exactly. Everybody loves them. It's been uh, in the. It, it exists for over a hundred years. Actually, everybody loves their hot dogs. Uh, some with the mayo, some with ketchup, some with mustard, some all dressed. Nobody ever like take what the, the, what the hot dog is and bring it to another level. With this, the Twisto Max, you're really gonna bring your level, your hot dog game to another level. First thing first, you put your sausage right here, and then you're gonna take actually that that little uh, uh, cap. Cover, cap. Yeah, exactly. You put the cap here to make sure that the sausage doesn't run away, and then you just roll it like that. And by doing so, you're slicing exactly. slicing gently all slowly. around, all the same depth, but you don't same. break the exactly. sausage. sausage as it comes out. Yep. It's it's sliced in a spiral all around. Yep but holds in one piece, exactly. and then what happens once you grill it? The magic happens. Once you, once you grill it, it's gonna actually kind of unroll, and of course, it's really useful when you put it back on your bread, so you can fill it with like cheese, uh, bacon, uh, like anything actually, and it's really gonna fill your, your sausage. But the real mm -hmm. thing is, when you grill it, since it's open, it's gonna give to the fire the chance to grill and make more, surface. more of the exact more of the surface of the so sausage and caramelize and like mired reaction like the reaction the the, 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 the browning of the meat what's yeah. so, so good is going to be way more and than I was just going to say you say so good but most people what they uh, myself for starters what I love the most about a hot dog is the taste of the crust the of crust. that sausage of that hot dog that's, that's what they make and as you cook it and it unwinds yep. you just double or triple we have, I, no, I we have not calculate calculated exactly the, the, the square inching I think uh, it's like up to 33% or something <laughs> but it cert lot. certainly increases it's more the, the, the caramelization and the surface exactly of the dog that you can cook. Plus, now you forgot to mention this, you put it back into your bun, yeah. and all those spiral, it just makes more hole and more crevices to hold first, condiments. But then oh, you did? My yard, <laughs> remove everything, yeah. But, but you can just add more, more so condiments it depends in on it. If you're a big passionate like us, I think about my, my yard reaction, you're definitely gonna put a little ketchup maybe or something. Or just yeah, yeah, you just wanna enjoy the... Enjoy so, the food for what it is. Exactly. But if you like, you like to pimp your hot dog, it's definitely what you want. So this is it. We've got four different accessories that must have in everybody's uh, kitchen and yep. uh, outdoor kitchen, yep. grilling spot, barbecuing spot, however you call it. You need this to you have this. fun year around because we're yep. not just talking about summer uh, grilling. We are Canadian Winter hot and dog is we, always good. <laughs> we grill year round. Poor parties, maybe not. Maybe, no, maybe for the pool, unless you want to skate on it. Yep. But uh, we enjoy these accessories year round. Thank you so much oh, for yeah. being with us. Follow us on barbecue-experts.com. You'll find all the information on the products as well on the website. Thank you, Max, for being with us today. You're welcome. Have a great barbecue.